Today I'm going to show you how to build a natural gas detector. It's Wi-Fi connected and send out alerts and can do some funny things like triggers. Um, we're going to be able to trigger alarms and trigger fans and then what we can do is we're going to be able to adjust the sensitivity so it can detect natural gas or even farts. So this is going to be pretty fun. So what we've got is the IoT module from Adoja and we got some sensors that ship with the module and we also got a dual relay module. Um, this is a sound buzzer. This is our natural gas sensor. The natural gas sensor has a little sensitivity nos nodule we can adjust. After we get it programmed, we can adjust our sensitivity. But I'm gonna show you how to build this up and um, just connect everything together and then how to get it all set up and programmed. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our <coughs> IO board off and we're gonna get our relay mounted. Um, you can either get one of these IO boards with the relays that come with it um, or you can just get the parts individually and put them together. Screw these nuts on on the bottom and you may want to get some pliers and tighten them when you're done. Sometimes they're a little tricky to get threaded but once you get them threaded they, they go on really easy. So this relay module, it's N1 and N2. We've got them jumpered together so we can trigger them both at the same time um, using one output on the board. We've only got two outputs that we can run in this setup and the other digital output we're gonna run to actually uh, trigger our alarm. So let's show you how we get this wired up. Take your other mount and put it through one of the holes. I like to start with this top right hole um, so the terminals are facing downwards and go ahead and screw it into this mount here and that'll give you a little swivel action. And the reason I like to do that is so now I connect the 5 volt pin that we're going to connect to VCC and then this here is a ground pin. So this rail gives us, we get 12 volts on the two right, the next two are 5 volts, the next two are 3.3 .3, and the next two are ground. So that's just extra wire pins we get. But then what you can do is you can shut this up. Um, you can mount your other mount. And so what we're going to do is we need to plug up our wire. So let's bring this around ground. It's going to come straight into our ground. And VCC, straight into our VCC. And as you see, there's a jumper in between. We're going to bring a wire from our output right in between and connect the two. And so that's what we're going to use to trigger them both. But let's go ahead and get our uh, sensors on. So next, this is our, our, our alarm. So what we're going to do is we are going to... This just plugs in the back. And then what we want to do is get our top mount. And we probably want to put the alarm maybe sticking out like that. And the way that plugs in is that's gonna go on a digital input. It doesn't matter which one, you figure it out when you program it. But let's go ahead and just go digital IO1. And what you wanna do is, is you wanna make sure that the green is on the right and the black is on the left. And you can see the labels here. If you're holding the board upright, the green should be on the left, black on the right. So that's plugged up and that's that's ready to go. You don't have to do anything else with this. Um, you can move the position around or change how you want to put it, but let's go ahead and get the gas sensor hooked up now. Now we're gonna tighten it up. And we can go ahead and put our module back together. All right, so let's get our temperature or our gas sensor wired up. Need to plug that in. And then we gotta plug this into an analog port. And this is gonna go with the blue wire towards the bottom of the board and the black wire towards the top. And it's gonna go right, let's see if you can see that, onto that pin right there. There's some vertical pins. That's where that plugs in. Okay, so 
now we've tucked our wires underneath. Um, all we need to do now is um, connect our relays. So what we're gonna do is we've got this wire. There's a female piece on one side and a male piece on the other. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the female piece and come to our digital IO2 pin, just the digital pin. We don't need the VCC or grounds. So it's that one pin on the right if you're looking at the board the way I've got it oriented. And then all we gotta do is take that output pin and put that orange in between the two signals into the jumper. So that's gonna trigger both relays at the same time when it does. Okay, our module's assembled. Um, now, to wire up the, the, the fans on the back, we'll do that in a little bit. What we want to do now is get our sensors calibrated and make sure that it's triggering all right. And then we can show you how, to, how everything else all comes together. So let's go ahead and get this guy programmed, doing what he's supposed to do, detecting the gas we want, and we'll get the gas calibrated, or the gas sensor calibrated, so it's acting you know close to how we want it to act. And then we can kind of come back and show you what else we can do with it. So I'm logged into the platform. We had Bobby set up as a self-watering pot before we did this. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new profile. We're just going to call it a uh, fart detector. Triggers, fan, and alarm. We're not driving anything from these motor switch channels, so we're just going to leave those blank. What we are going to do is on digital IO1, that is where we plugged in our alarm. So um, what we're going to do is we're just going to basically set that to a general digital output. And we're going to have it trigger high, which means it's going to go high when it triggers. And we're going to trigger it for, let's say, uh, four seconds. So when it detects and we trigger it, we're going to trigger for four seconds. On our digital IO2, this, this wire here, that's what we've got going to our relay. So that's gonna trigger both of our relays, and those relays um, are, are digital outputs, but what they do is they're gonna trigger on trigger low. It's just the way the relays are made and how we're gonna wire them up. So the relays, we can trigger those on for maybe something a little bit longer if we're gonna do a fan, you know, if we're trying to clear the air, maybe we wanna go uh, uh, five minutes or so. So 300 seconds is equivalent to five minutes. That's gonna go on a trigger as well. We're going to put that in a group and deploy it. And we're also gonna put this in a group too. And the reason we're grouping them together is so we can trigger them together. Now. We're not doing anything on our pull-up channels. The only thing we have to do now is set up our analog sensor. So we're gonna do a natural gas sensor. Um, we can send an email saying somebody's stinky if we wanted to, uh, if it detects that. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here, we're gonna trigger group and trigger group one. And here we're gonna be able to adjust the sensitivity grammatically, but we're also gonna be able to adjust it on the board as well. So we're gonna go ahead and just say, okay, let's make this thing pretty sensitive. Um, and we'll just say, let's trigger on a level two. That's pretty much how you set up your profile. So now all you have to do is head back to your dashboard and select your device and then change his profile. He should check in any second now because he's on a five minute check in, but you can just always reset the device and he will update when he checks back in. Okay, so we've got our profile set and all we need to do now is change our calibration. So for the natural gas sensor, our top is gonna be 1024 and our bottom we're just gonna set to zero. So that's the full analog range. So we'll go ahead and save our, our moisture sensor. And the reason we had to do that is if we look, we've got we've got everything set up. The device is checking in okay, natural gas sensor. But we had an error, 220 is an error. Basically, it was below our calibration. I think we had a, a 350. So that should clear that up the next time it checks in. Um, but yeah, our device is ready to go. All right, so we've got it all programmed. It is functional. Um, so you can see this sensitivity adjust. If you tighten this um, screw here, it's gonna become more sensitive. Right now I've got it to where it won't detect carbon, but it will detect um, natural gas. So there that goes, that's triggering both triggers or both relays in parallel with the alarm. So we can trigger something bigger along with the alarm. I've got it set for 10 seconds um, uh, just for demonstration purposes. So there's your uh, Wi-Fi fart detector. <laughs>